or this design number one, uh, so that will be sufficient for, for you for the preparation and uh, completing the task or job. So as uh, it's mentioned, it is hydrology and water resources management subject, and it has uh, theory subject and the lab subject. Previously, uh, theory and lab used to be combined subjects, but uh, uh, lately, uh, I think a uh, few years back, they have made it a separate subject. It means that uh, you have to register separately in theory and the lab subject. So the course code for this is CE332L. And uh, I've already introduced myself. I'm Engineer Smanali taking these lab classes. Now, list of design jobs. Uh, first of all, this lab is, uh, is is not a performing lab. You will not uh, you don't have to perform experiments in this. Uh, there are no experiments to be performed in this lab. It's uh, just like you have. I, uh, you will do in this. I think steel structures. And previously, I don't think to have such lab where you have only done the design. Is it? Or ESA? I think is one elementary structure analysis where you. Uh, in in my time, we used to have uh, one hour, I think, so for the lab, and we used to do the numericals in that. Is it the case now, uh, or it's different now? Anybody can respond. Your elementary structure analysis है उसमें अभी भी ऐसे ही है कि वो lab के लिए आप उसकी जो numericals करते हैं कि उसमें भी experiments होते हैं. No sir. Okay. So in uh, previously, I think uh, in all the labs you have been performing the experiments, is it? Or uh, you, you have taken some lab where you did just the numericals or the designs? तो इसमें एक तो ये है एक स्टील स्ट्रक्चर में भी आप इसी तरह का काम करेंगे उसमें डिजाइंस वगैरह होते हैं उसमें परफॉर्मेंस नहीं होती एनी हाउ सो इन दिस लैब देयर इज नो परफॉर्मेंस दो एक्सपेरिमेंट टू बी परफॉर्म एंड यू विल बी एक्चुअली डूइंग सम न्यूमेरिकल्स आर एक्चुअली यू विल बी सॉल्विंग सम प्रॉब्लम्स यू विल बी गिवन सर्टेन डाटा एंड मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द डाटा यू विल बी फाइंडिंग सर्टेन पैरामीटर्स यू विल बी मेकिंग ग्राफ्स and uh, based on those uh, calculations and graphs some results will be obtained conclusions would be made so in this way this uh, uh, this design lab will go along so these are the for, uh, uh, listed uh, design jobs that you have to carry out during this uh, lab course so firstly that will start today uh, if you see, go through it to develop relationship between temperature and saturation vapor pressure of a parcel of air and determine saturation deficit, relative humidity and dew point temperature for the given condition. So this is the first job that you have to do. We'll start it today and uh, hopefully in the next week we'll complete it. So in this you will be given certain temperature and saturation vapor pressure data. You will plot the graph. And using that graph and certain given con other conditions, you will find saturation deficit, relative humidity, and dew point temperature. So this is this will be the job that you have to do and complete. Second uh, design job that is to check the consistency of precipitation data. So you will be given precipitation data of uh, certain stations. And uh, you will be asked to check the accuracy of the data at a certain station. So we have one technique to do it so that will be utilized to check the consistency of precipitation data at a gauging station, rain gauging station. And then uh, if there is some inconsistency, inaccuracy, we will have to find uh, uh, that. And then we have to rectify, correct that uh, the inaccuracy to make it a correct or consistent precipitation data. The third job that you have to do as a part of this lab is to determine the average precipitation over a catchment area. So you will be using the following three methods, arithmetic mean method, Thiessen polygon method and isohytal method. 
So arithmetic mean uh, uh, in this method again, you will be given uh, precipitation or rainfall data at different gauging stations, and uh, considering that data, you will find the average precipitation over the entire area, given area, given catchment, and you will be utilizing the methods I have already told you. So up to this, uh, 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 I have the plans to complete uh, uh, before mids, and then after mids. The rest of the jobs will be carried out. Hopefully, when you come on campus, so uh, that would be uh, done during the on-campus classes. Hopefully, uh, fourth design job that we have to do is the extension of rating curve using using logarithmic and Chase's method. So you'll come to know about the rating curve and uh, how it is plotted, what data we require for it, and uh, why we need. To extend the rating curve and how by using the the mentioned method we can extend it. Then derivation of unit hydrograph from hydrograph of an isolated storm is the fifth design. Uh, so you learn what is unit hydrograph, why we derive it, what is the use of the unit hydrograph, derivation of unit hydrograph, what is the uh, what is the method uh, procedure to derive the unit hydrograph. So all these things you will learn in your theory. As well as in this uh, lab design, so some of the things you will see during the theory and lab classes will uh, be commonly discussed. Uh, maybe if you cover one thing in the lab class in the theory, uh, that the details will not be discussed, and you will be referred to consult the lab notes. And uh, maybe similar could be the case for the lab as well. So uh, remember this thing. Uh, Uh, lab designs and the theory lectures. So both will be included in your uh, midterm and term course. Uh, whatever the division will be decided later on about the topics. जो जो topics आप theory में पढ़ेंगे उसी से related जो भी lab में करेंगे वो भी इसमें शामिल होगा. तो इसलिए lab classes का लेना भी जरूरी है. You have to take these lab classes regularly to under to complete the, the lab designs. so you can you can understand it better and also it is important because it is part of the theory course as well so something can also can also be asked from these uh, calculations in your theory paper so that's why you should be extra careful about it about learning the things in the lab as well next would be next design number 6 is again relating to hydrographs so in this you will learn the construction of s curve hydrograph and uh, Uh, based on the s curve hydrograph how we can convert the duration of unit hydrograph so that will be the thing uh, that you learn in this design job the last one that we will do in this is to determine the storativity and transmissivity of a confined aquifer by using these method so uh, you will be explained about the confined aquifer unconfined aquifer aquifer Uh, is basically the water bearing strata under the underneath the ground surface which allows water to flow in one direction based on the slope of the area towards the water body mainly or towards the river or stream so we'll know uh, how we can find uh, by one of the method the storativity and transmissivity of confined aquifer so this is a course outline for this uh, lab uh, that you have to do during uh, this uh, master and uh, obviously along with the, uh, with this uh, uh, instructions and the calculations and the completion of the jobs you will be uh, having uh, online vivas uh, or on campus viva quizzes and uh, lab copies will also be lab manuals will be checked so all this will uh, will contribute towards your uh, uh, assessment of the lab Uh, coming to the next uh, thing that is CLOs and PLOs, which are set, which are uh, set for this uh, lab subject. As you know that uh, from 2014 onward, we have moved to OBE system, outcome based education system, uh, and uh, one of the important things under that system is to define course learning outcomes for each course and relate them to the PLOs. for the our program learning outcomes for the program so uh, there are four clos for this subject lab subject and correspondingly each clo contribute to one 
PLO. So you know already know that there are 12 PLOs for our BSc Civil Engineering program, and uh, throughout uh, your course, around 40 subjects you have to uh, have, and uh, during uh, uh, each CLO in corresponding subjects uh, contribute toward one of the PLOs that we have to in the end achieve, and. Uh, Uh, I don't know uh, at the moment whether they are issuing uh, PLO transcript uh, or not. I think they have started it. So along with your uh, DMC, you will uh, and degree, you will also be getting the PLO achievement uh, certificate or PLO achievement transcript. So that will uh, show you that uh, each the student uh, ha has achieved all the PLOs of the program. Coming from different CLOs of different subjects, so this is also very important in future. Maybe uh, whatever what what I have heard and uh, what uh, discussions have been made in our department also or in the university that uh, later on, if a student fails to achieve one PLO, his his degree may not be awarded till he achieves or she achieves the the required PLO. So that's why uh, these are important. Uh, one should know that uh, the the progress of the achievement of the PLOs, and uh, one should know that uh, uh, how many PLOs are coming from uh, how many subjects are CLOs of how many subjects accordingly. Uh, if uh, he is failing to achieve one PLO, so he should focus more on those CLOs contributing towards that PLO. So, this is obviously the important thing in the future. Me, just I have said that. अगर कोई अचीव नहीं करेगा एक भी पी एल ओ तो उसकी डिग्री को अवार्ड ना किया जाए जब तक कि वो अचीव ना कर ले तो इसलिए आपको देखना होगा कि कौन से पी एल ओज आप जो है वो मार्जिनली अचीव कर रहे हैं कौन से आप सेफली अचीव कर रहे हैं तो जो मार्जिन पे हैं जाहिर है उन पे आपको ज़्यादा फोकस करना होगा और उन पी की अचीवमेंट के लिए ऑबियसली जो सी एल ओज हैं वो आपने देखने होंगे कहाँ कहाँ से कौन से सी एल ओज अचीव हो रहे हैं जैसे मोस्टली आपने देखा भी होगा Uh, mostly the knowledge uh, problem analysis design so these are the very common uh, uh, you can say plos coming in almost all the subjects so in me itna is issue nahi hota students ke achievement mein jaise ye upar hai investigation to ye thode yani ke thoda kam usme aata hai isi tarah isme ethics ka bhi ek dala hua hai आखिरी जो है इसमें तो ये भी बहुत कम सी एल ओ से आता है तो स्पेशली इसमें आपने थोड़ा सा फोकस करना है कि ये आपके अचीव हो जाएं और इनमें कोई इश्यूज ना आए ठीक है अभी क्लियर है तो लेट मी गो थ्रू द सी एल ओज एंड कोरस्पॉन्डिंग पी एल ओज एंड द बी टी एल ब्लूम टेक्सोनोमी लेवल फॉर द सी एल ओज दैट हैज बीन सेट फॉर इट सो द फर्स्ट सी एल ओ दैट इज टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द इफेक्ट ऑफ एयर टेम्परेचर ऑन सेचुरेशन vapor pressure vapor pressure humidity and saturation deficit so the first design will contribute towards the achievement of the first cl pehla jo design aap karenge uski jo valuation hogi jo bhi usme pi wagera ka jo part hoga ya share hoga to wo aapke clo1 ki achievement mein help karega and this clo is uh, linked to plo4 that is investigation and taxonomy level is c4 that is the c stands for the uh, for uh, cognitive domain and four is the level of that second clo set for it is to check the consistency of precipitation data and to calculate average precipitation over an area and storativity and transmissivity of confined aquifer so this clo uh, will be contributed by design number 2 3 and 7 so design 2 3 and 7 Uh, the uh, the evaluation uh, viva etc and the questions in the quiz they will contribute towards the clo2 is related to problem analysis that is plo2 and it's, uh, it's also having c4 as the taxonomy level third one is to analyze the stream flow hydrographs uh, so design number 5 and 6 relating to hydrograph will contribute to the achievement of this clo and uh, again it's c4 level uh, uh, taxonomy level and it's uh, relating to plo2 that is again problem analysis the last one is uh, of effective domain there are three learning domains we have more uh, in majority in theory courses and partly in the labs as well we have the 
کاگنیٹو ڈومین جس کو تھیوری کی کہہ سکتے ہیں جس میں کوئزز ہوتے ہیں اس طرح ویلویشن کی جاتی ہے دین وی ایز اے سائیکو موٹر ڈومین بیسڈ آن دا ایکسپیریمنٹیشن کیونکہ یہاں ایکسپیریمنٹ نہیں ہے اس لیب میں تو وہ ڈومین نہیں آئے گی اور تیسری ایفیکٹیو ڈومین دیٹ از ٹوورڈز ایٹیٹیوڈ آف دا اسٹوڈنٹ ہاؤ بیہیو ان دا کلاس ہاؤ ہی رسپونس ٹوورڈز دا نالج شیئر ٹو ہم اور ہر اینڈ ہاؤ ہی کمز اپ اور شی کمز اپ ود دا ود دا submission of the assignments and the other tasks given to him or her so uh, are overall based on the attitude of the student towards the learning that is the judge in this effective domain so it is difficult to obviously uh, in this way uh, have a right assessment so we have uh, obviously uh, as a requirement introduce some of the uh, clos relating to effective domain so one is over here to exhibit the concern towards time management punctuality and honesty so your attendance lab attendance especially that will count towards this and uh, maybe uh, class participation in terms of uh, some assignments like uh, cp would be given to you complex in problem so that will also be uh, be having share in the lab assessment and also your uh, lab report uh so some percentage of that may come also towards the this uh, assessment of this clo so it is linked to plo 8 that is ethics and its uh, level is a3 so these are the clos and corresponding plo is called as a clo plo mapping for this subject so if anybody having any question up till now may ask before i move further to discuss uh, the assessment plan and then the and then start with the first design you see if a question is pushed like क्यों भी समझ आ रही है यस। ओके जी लेट्स मूव फर्दर तो टेंटिव असेसमेंट प्लान दैट वी हैव वी विल फॉलो इन दिस लैब प्रोसेस ओवरऑल कैन से योर रिस्पॉन्स एंड ऑब्वियसली based on their grading grading is done so there are different assessment tools which have been kept for this uh, lab like lab quizzes already mentioned so maybe there may be one or two lab quizzes at least one uh, um, or two may also be, is also possible maybe one is during the mid and one during the end term uh, then there will be online viva or on campus viva that are also possible Uh, lab manual will also carry weightage so as far as the weightage is concerned so that may vary that's why i have used the word tentative so somewhere uh, some variation is possible at the end we'll have the class participation uh, having certain weightage in which may include your class attendance your uh, uh, cp class uh, complexity problem etc are there any other assignments 